As you're working with a project in Reaper, you might want to zoom out to the entire project so we can see everything from left to right. There's an action that'll do that. If we go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type into the filter Zoom Project. And right over here, there's an action with a keyboard shortcut already assigned to zoom out to the entire project. And if we choose this, the entire project zooms out from left to right or horizontally. But many times you want to go back to the previous zoom. There's another action for that. Type into the filter, zoom previous. There's an action right here. But you can see by default, there's no keyboard shortcut already assigned to this one. So you can either add one or just double click it. And now we're back to the previous zoom. But you might find this more useful if those two actions toggled, where we could zoom out to the entire project and get back to the previous zoom right after. And we could do that with cycle actions. But we do need to install the SWS extensions first, which we could do from this website right here. I'll leave the link in the description below. Just install the version you need and then reopen Reaper. And once it's installed correctly, we can go up here and find the extensions menu. And we can choose the cycle action editor. In here, we can create actions or multiple actions that can toggle. You can see we already have one right here with multiple actions that toggle against these. We'll come back to that in a bit. But let's create a new one to do what we want. Right click, add cycle action. Let's name it zoom to project. Let's add some actions over here. Let's reopen the actions window. Let's start off with this one as we could do them in either order. Go back here and right click and add the selected action. Now it shows up here. Go back to our actions, choose zoom project and choose this action now. And again, right click, add the selected action and it shows up here. Then we want to add a step right here, change the order. So we start out by zooming out to the entire project and restoring the previous zoom level. Then we'll choose to toggle this and then apply it, which saves the cycle action. Now, if we go back here, we see this new action in the action list. Let's delete this keyboard shortcut. I'm going to put that one over here instead, which is control on the PC or command on the Mac and page down. Hit OK. Now this action is going to toggle. Close these, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it zooms out to the entire project. And now if we trigger it again, it goes back to the previous zoom level, whichever level we're using. So if I come over here and zoom in, hit that keyboard shortcut, it zooms out to the entire project. But if we hit it again, it goes back to that previous zoom level. So I find this a bit more useful when it toggles with one keyboard shortcut to do both actions. But let's check out another one. Let's say I wanted to change the automation mode for our tracks. We could right click over here and choose them between right, latch, touch, read, and trim read. But we could also do this with an action. Type in automation mode in the filter, and here's the actions we could use for latch, read, touch, trim read, and write. But if we wanted to toggle this behavior between two different automation modes, let's type in toggle. We could see there's only one action to do this. It'll toggle between touch and trim read modes. But let's say we wanted to toggle between two different modes, maybe write and trim read. Well, there's no action by default, but we could do it with cycle actions. Let's go back to this one. Set track automation mode to right. Go to our cycle actions and create a new one. And add those actions into here. We'll start off with this one. Hit the selected action. And then we'll add in another action we want to toggle it with. In this case, trim read. And again, we'll add a step in between the two and put them in the order we want. Let's use automation write and then trim read. Again, we'll toggle it and save it. And now we go to automation mode toggle. We now have two options, 
the old one between touch and trim read, and our new one we just created between write and trim read. So add a keyboard shortcut to this. And now we can select our track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it changes it to write mode. And if we hit it again, it goes back to trim read. And we can do this with multiple tracks. Select a few, hit that keyboard shortcut, and they all go into write mode. And hit it again, they go back to trim read. So we can toggle between any automation modes we want. And if we go back to this one, we can see we can not only toggle between two different actions, here and here, we can do multiple actions as well. This is basically a custom action with multiple steps and two steps over here. And both sides are going to toggle. So we could do one action on each side or many actions on each side. What we could also do is do many steps. Let's change this so instead of going through these two, we could cycle through all the automation modes. Let's go back to our actions and let's choose latch mode. Add that one here. Touch mode. And also read mode. And let's add a few steps to put between each one. Let's make sure we're happy with the order. And of course, you could choose whatever order you want. But now instead of toggling between two different actions, we could use multiple actions or basically cycling through all these. Again, we chose toggle. Let's rename this automation mode toggle and reapply it. Go back to our actions. And now we have this action right here, which is automatically set up with the keyboard shortcut we used before. But of course, you can create separate ones for cycling and toggling. But we just replaced it. So now we can use the keyboard shortcut to cycle through the automation modes. So I can choose this, hit the keyboard shortcut. Now I'm in write mode, touch mode, latch, read, or trim read. And again, we could do it with multiple tracks just by selecting them. Write, touch, latch, read, or trim read. So by using these cycle actions, we can create very complicated actions that toggle one after another, simple ones one after another, or multiple ones that cycle from each one of these actions. And of course, this is going to work with any actions in Reaper. But I find this more useful as we can just use one keyboard shortcut to trigger it all. So that's pretty much it. That's how to toggle everything or anything in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.